Yeah. Padisro's first mission in 2023 and the SSLV sequel saw a strange coincidence. It was launched at 9.18 a.m. The same time its predecessor lifted off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center on the 7th of August 2022. Everything went right in August except for the fact that it could not deliver the due orbit due to an anomaly and flight path deviation. There was a sudden change in speed and the satellites were delivered in a path which then sent them into oblivion. But with the earlier SSLV not living up to expectations, corrective measures were put in into its successor and they have done it just within a few months. So August this happened and February they've had a successful launch. So the SSLV D2 has successfully put the three satellites into the intended orbit with precision. But what is exactly India's next gen mini rocket all about? Let's try and understand that ladies and gentlemen. Small satellite launch vehicle accommodates three satellites, boosts commercial space operations at low cost, low turnaround time, and they have launch on demand feasibility. Minimal launch infra is required. So there are a lot of nations for whom now space technology has become accessible and India as in the space market has become a very, very cost effective yet very, very reliable alternative for these nations. Now coming to the specifics, the height is 34 meters of the SSLV rocket. <clears throat> 34 meters, diameter is of 2, me, uh, of two meters, the liftoff mass is just about 120 tons. The configuration is on three propulsion stages. The target altitude is 450 kilometers, that's where the satellites have to be orbited. And there are three satellites on board. So in this case also there were three satellites on board, the EOS-7, the Janus and of course the Azadi Sat. The SSLV D2 carry three satellites along with it, like I said, the EOS-7 weighing about 156.3 kilograms and two others, the Janus-1 weighing about 11.5 kilograms, that's an American satellite and belonging to Antares of the US. 8.7 kilograms is the weight of the third satellite, that's the Azadi Sat. It, was belong it belonged to Space Kids India, that is located out of Chennai. We just spoke to Dr. Srimati Kesan, who's uh, heading Space Kids India and they are the ones who worked with these 750 girl students from across the length and breadth of the country, over 75 schools. Now, the Azadi Sat 2, what is this? This is developed by 750 girls from across India. Majority of the girls are between the age group of 14 to 17. Some of the girls we interacted with here on the right stand are just about 14, 15 years old, ladies and gentlemen. They learned coding. They program sensors. The girls were guided by Space Kids India and of course their own instructors and teachers who back there help them put it together and it could not have been possible had the parents not encouraged these children who come from very, very remote corners of the country. So a big shout out to all of them. Then of course, Neeti Ayog was a partner of this project. Azadi Sat 2 weighs about 8.7 kilograms, 75 femto experiments, selfie cameras, solid state radiation sensor, long range communication transponders and satellite grows into eight times its size in orbit. So what it does is it opens up like Batman's wings. That's what Dr. Kaysen told us. In orbit, with a mission is an all-women concept, promoting women's participation in, uh, in STEM. And this year's UN theme is Women in Space. So it sends across a G20 message after reaching orbit. And the message is Namaste World from the G20 Presidency. And that message has been sent and it's already been received. There are also songs which are put out there, uh, which have been composed. And uh, the theme song for this entire exercise has been composed by DSP or Devi Sri Prasad. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, from that.